Good afternoon, sir, and welcome to another day of the video diary, and today is day number 249, I believe. And today has been a rather eventful day, except you haven't been able to see any of it, and I'm apologetic for that, except, uh, yeah. We went back to Sheffield to go to Meadow Hall, which basically meant I got to drive on the motorway for the first time ever, and I'm telling you, the first time you go on, it's, it's a little bit terrifying, it's like, ah, ah, I was so fast! And then this, there was an awkward moment when a lorry... Here was a foreign lorry, so the driver was on the other side of the car. Uh, it was a foreign lorry, and it was just like, oh, I'm just going to casually indicate and turn right here as if this car, me, hi, wasn't even there. Just whoop, and then it literally just started to turn. I was like, oh my freaking indicate, car behind, car there. I just go across, and I had to gun it to get out of its way because it was going quite quick. Whoo, whoo, I was, it was a bit tense. It was a bit tense. But I'm back, I drove all the way there and all the way back and it, everything was all fine and dandy. We went to try and get a student bank account, except it was all closed. Um, I, although I went and I didn't really aim to get anything, I saw something which I liked. I'm trying to fight my phobia of shorts, just getting as many shorts as I possibly can, so I found these shorts. And they're very, very, very nice, I believe. I really liked them. These, they is nice. And I also went into my favourite shop as well. And it smelled so good. Just walk into Hollister and just like... <sighs> And then walk around like, I can buy that, I can buy that, except I'm on a budget, so I didn't. And then I saw those and bought them anyway, I could have bought the thing, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, and then I also found, found some shoes, get out of the bag, which match the shorts literally like every single possible way. But the idea is that they're my summery shoes, so I can wear those in summer instead of Converse, which I've got otherwise. You can't really wear Converse and shorts, so I can wear those, and just like with my shorts, it's like, woo! I probably won't wear them at the same time as those, these shorts here though, because they're a bit... Matchy. So yeah, it's been a jolly good exciting day, I believe. We um, There was no good dra big drama either on the uh, motorway, either. And then, and then we get back, although it's ever so strange, when you get back, you've been doing 70 for so long, and then you suddenly go down to 30 and it feels like you've already stopped. It's like, what the frick? Just driving on like, really, really slow. It's mind-numbing how big the difference is. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. And there was no instance until we got like relatively home and then I wasn't used to the speed anymore. And then people started making stupid comments in the back of the car. Like, oh, well, that was fast. Uh, well, I noticed. Thanks. Oh, it's just irritating, yeah. <laughs> hey! So, I'm now sat in, sitting down for some. Uh, de, dom, de, what's that called? Uh, what? Well, I don't even know what they're called. Doritos. Doritos? Yeah. You thicko. And um, salsa. Because it's better than eating chocolate. I've got chocolate up there. I might have some chocolate actually. I mean, they No. I'll have this instead of chocolate, it's healthier. Um, and I'm watching The Apprentice because I never watch things when it's actually on TV, I just wait till later. Um, today we're going, I've got to go to work at six, get back at about like 10 minutes past 10, quickly get changed and then walk up to a party which is going down. Uh, spend about two hours there then walk back home with Lovely basically. This is my day, it's been bloody busy, bloody busy. Um, my student account I'm going to open up tomorrow, so remind me. Um, that's tray important, tray, tray important. I get that sorted as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, so, yeah. We meet again, car. How's it going? I'm not gonna take you so far this time. We're only gonna go pick up father. That's it, I actually feel sorry for you. It's a good job I cleaned you earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. you're so nice and clean. Core dickety doodle, I'm getting into, turning into one of the worst vloggers in ex freaking zig existence. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say, yeah. So I picked up father, brought him all the way back home. Had dinner, went out to work, and now I am hot footing it. And I mean freaking hot footing it, full legged, full length stride. It's just occurred to me that it's dark and you can't see a thing. Um, all the way to a house party at my fake sister's house. Obviously she's not my fake sister, she's my actual sister. And I was deliberating for ages about whether I should walk or I should drive. And I was like, I could drive there and I'd be there in like two minutes flat. I'd be there by now, it'd be brilliant. And then all I do is just sit and drink coke or something all night. But then I thought, well, when I get there, well, no, one of the downsides is I'll turn into the taxi for everyone. And everyone's like, oh, Jimmy, can you give me a lift? Jimmy, can you give me a love you? Oh, what is it? Is it a blunts? Is it a fire engine? Is it a blunts? Is it a blunts? Fire engine? Blunts? Blunts? Blunts. They're ever so eerie when they haven't got the sirens on. It makes me feel like I've gone death. Yeah. Okay, then, so I'm literally walking this distance. And it takes them lot, like 45 minutes to walk it, but I've got a long stride, so I'm aiming to do it in 15 minutes flat. And I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna be a bit out of breath, but hey to the freaking hoe. Yeah, I decided to walk it, because I'll get there and I just want a drink. 
I just go on board a coke and then everyone else will be drunk and I'll just get irritated with everyone and then I ruin everyone's night because I have a habit of doing that um, even though they don't admit it hey lovely um, so yeah I found half a bottle of wine from ages ago that I didn't drink and lovely rescued for me and brought it back so I'm going to drink my half bottle of wine two hours to drink it in <sighs> should be enough right Ooh, police car now Ooh. exciting what's going down I've got no idea. Maybe someone fell over because of the turbulence created by my extortionately fast walk. And obviously someone falling over would induce the calling of an ambulance and a fire. Not a fire engine, bloody hell, a police car, Jesus. Obviously it's murder, he's chasing me. Except I'm going so fast that the light escaping from me is slower than me so it still appears that I'm all the way over there. Yeah, that, that works, right? So I'm actually going at like 14 times the speed of light because he hasn't figured out how fast I'm going and he obviously can't keep up with me. Yeah. Woo. Why isn't time dilation being taken into account yet, Jamie? Well, let me, let me tell you that right now. Basically, this camera has a special mode. It's called time-lapse mode, where it takes a photo every hour, and that takes into account time dilation. So if I go at this speed and take a photo every hour, it appears to you like I'm talking normally. That makes sense. Look it up, it's physics. Obviously, don't go too far into the maths, because I'm assuming I might have misrounded in a couple of places, but yeah. Shh. To be fair, doing this in 15 minutes, I've just trounced that time. I ain't no man's business. I'm nearly there and it's took me five minutes to get to this point here. You know, I'm just so fast at everything. Like, we used to cycle to tennis and it would take about 10 minutes maybe to drive there. Could do it in about eight cycling. Like pros, like pros. And that's that main road that you just saw me on, that's people driving down there, which okay, is limited to 30 miles an hour, but it's a big road. There's no like traffic lights or anything. So freaking fast, I've nearly walked this far in 10 minutes. Nearly, nearly, nearly. So yeah, essentially because of work, I haven't been able to go early because every t I do alternate weekends, as you know. I have one weekend where I do nothing and the other weekend where I do all of the works. Um, and every single time someone has a party, it always throws on the time that I'm always working. And this is a Friday, so I'm going down after work because it's nice. And then I can walk back with lovely and I've got uh, a coat, which you can't see a coat and a scarf to wear because she says oh, I've got a blazer that's fine get out of town it's freezing and I've just been working in a chiller for the past four hours so yeah it's pretty cold um, and especially for her who's been inside for the past however long um, but I always feel like really bad because whenever there's a party I just want to be there for lovely I just want to sit and like just spend the time with lovely and it's never it's never like that it's always like I'm at work and then I go late and then just kind of mingle a little bit and then I don't know it just really bugs me so one thing I really don't like about work is that it always falls when I want to do something else but oh well the amount of how they pay me so <laughs> to be fair they let me they, uh, the things they stop me doing they make up for by allowing me to do other things by being able to afford it like this I wouldn't be able to do this vlogging thing if I didn't have a job yeah but I believe next week should be a lot more interesting because we might be going clubbing again on the Friday, which will be really good and really cool because lots of people are going, it'll be me and Lovely will be going as well so I'll be able to spend the night with her, which will be awesome and then also on top of that, I've only just realised it's raining so I'm really sorry for getting your hair wet and all that jazz um, yeah, next week we'll be doing that also I'm going to try, we're not going to the seaside anymore Lovely says she doesn't want to go to the seaside because it's going to be cold so I'm thinking, okay, why don't we go somewhere else, let's go to the zoo that'll be interesting, we could spend a day at a zoo yeah Yes, I'm going to sell her the idea on the walk home. Those two look big and scary. I'm going to put you away now. Well, now that, that was eventful. So I arrive, evidently, four hours after the actual party started, which would have been at eight. Six, no, two, six, no. Okay, however many hours late. Um, it's late, and I'm not in a maths mood. Sorry, I'm always relatively extortionately careful whenever it's this late at night and I'm on my own talking to a camera. I actually promised Lovely I wouldn't talk to you, so shh, don't tell her. All right then, so I arrived relatively late, walked in, put my bottle of wine down, gave my fake sister her fake presents, because her present is actually in the post, saying, oh yeah, it was like a knitted woolly hat thing that comes on top of 
innocent smoothies over Christmas and we still had some at work. So I gave her two of those and then made out that I knitted them myself and how I tried to make a big rabbit or a big elephant, no, a big elephant. And then I tried to make a hat, but it went wrong. So I just made two very small hats that would fit remarkably well on an innocent smoothie bottle. I think she was starting to buy it to a certain extent. She's relatively gullible, my lovely, lovely sister is. Um, okay, so I sat down, did that. Sat down, poured myself a glass of wine, started to sip on it, when Robert from across, and actually, he could be watching right now, Robert from across the table, just turned around and says, so, how long have you had a vlog? And I was like, what? How freaking terrifying is that? I was literally just in awe. Like, v one, first of all, it's vlog, not vlog, douche. And secondly, how the frick? So yeah, apparently Google Plus, and I've realised what it was, uh, my blog posts were being um, added to Google Plus and within those are directly linked to my YouTube. I don't believe he's seen any of the YouTube side, which I'm not entirely sure if he's watching or not because he could be and he could not be. Um, but if you are, hi, how's it going? Welcome to my daily video diary, which this is, because it's my, I keep a video diary in an attempt to keep as many memories as possible of the past however long, however long, and I've kept it for 249 days so far, except the one day where I've missed a day because the hard drive hit the floor, but that's none the wiser. So yeah, he asked that and I was like, what the f... So I kind of like palmed him off with answers. Just like, oh, so did you... <laughs> no, Gideon asks, did you copy Rob? I was like, well, no, I did mine. I started the main channel a year and a half ago now. Um, and I started this channel obviously 250, 49 days ago, 50 days ago, and no, I don't believe I copied you. And then we made fun of his for a little bit because it was a bit embarrassing. Oh well, says it's me. <clears throat> and yeah, I kind of like palmed him off like, oh, it's just how many like channel views have you got? And I just guessed at like 80, 60,000, is it 60,000 I think? Something like that. And then how many subscribers? I think it's 116, might be 114, something along those lines. But yeah, so I think he, we relatively got him towards the end of that and he kind of forgot, which was good. Um, he then, no, not he then, I was sat with Lovely this whole time and I was like, oh, this is weird. She's like, well, it's fine, I've never been on it. I said, yeah, but I talk about you all the time. All the time. This is scary. And then we joked about how she'll be introduced to it at some point. How, if not before holiday, then holiday. And stuff like that, and then we talked about the holiday, yeah, that's all irrelevant. Um, then, what? Then, like, conversation flowed into, like, an uncomprehensible, if you, like, flicked away for a couple of seconds, you were on a completely different topic and with no idea how we got there, kind of way, that kind of way. Um, it kind of flicked to, like, driving. And then John was like, yeah, but someone else had just failed their second driving test. And then all of a sudden he said, yeah, but soon you'll be on par with Jamie, who passed, failed three times. Like, no, John, once. I failed once and then passed the second time. And I was, I didn't realise this because I was in a separate phase, which I've told you about. Um, but I was like getting, no, it was one time, Lovely was saying. I kept repeating one time in a relatively aggressive tone. And then Sean came in. Sean? Hi, Sean. One word with you, Sean. And Sean was like, no, it's definitely failed at least twice, maybe three times. Okay, I failed twice. Because obviously, only the video diary knows the fact that I failed twice and lovely. The video diary and lovely knows that I failed twice. But everyone else thought I'd just failed them once when I had a panic attack at the wheel, which is a completely valid way of failing a test. But yeah, throughout that entire conversation, and then towards the end I was just like, yeah, okay, I failed, pass, failed blah, 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 twice. Uh, yeah, and then throughout that entire thing, I felt my hands buzzing. And then... I kind of knew what that meant. I tried to control it to a certain extent. Lovely was next to me, so I held a hand, um, trying to quell, quell it. And then I felt my tongue buzz, and then Lovely went off because someone called her, and then the whole new stress evolved around that, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And then I was just like, okay, this is now a panic attack. So I left the room, gowned in water, like no man's business, and then like frantically text Lovely, like, Lovely, Lovely, come and say hi to me. So then um, I even text Daniel, who, who then, hello, Mr. Cat Cat. Hello. What's up, buddy cat? What's up? Meow. I don't know what you want from me. Want me to 
One footers, no? Fine. So yeah, what are you doing? You can't just follow me around. I don't know what you want from me. <sighs> Do you want your five minutes of fame? Is that what you want? Well, I'm not that famous. Come on, kid. Come on, kitty. Right, look, kitty. I'm not even joking. What are you playing at? I need to get home so I can text Lovely to say I'm home. Don't sit down. What do you want? You're so cute, though. You're so cute, Mr. Buddy Cat. What do you want? What do you want? Let me go home now, please. Where the frick was I? Stop following me! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Okay, yeah, so let's try and ignore the fact that there's a cat bounding around my ankles. Um, yeah, myself and. Go away! Go away! Right then, Buddy Cat. A little bit more fuss. Hello, yeah, cats scare me. You're not, I've, I smell like dog, so you instantly scare me. You're instantly a threat to me. Okay, right, so I'm going to give you a little fuss around your ears, and then I'm going to walk away, and you're going to leave me alone, okay? You can't follow me to my house. I've got a dog. He'll eat you. Trust me, I've opened the door, and he's given me a cat's tail as a present before. So he'd been left outside on his own all day, and he just gave me a cat tail. You don't want that to happen to you, do you, Mr. Kitty Cat? Mr. Kitty Cat. Oh, Mr. Kitty, you're so cute. All right then, let's go. Right, so I even text my friend who, um, I text him like, uh, can you get lovely? I'm in the dining room, please. Just go away, cat. Go away. Seriously, cat, you followed me across the freaking road. I thought the main road would be enough to stop you. Leave me alone. Okay, I think it's, I think it's lost interest. What I've, been, what I've been trying to say to you for ages now is I text um, my friend and he was like, I text him like, could you get Lovely to come to me? And by this time Lovely had read her text. I didn't think she had a phone on her, that's why I texted my friend. And then she was looking for me and then Daniel showed her phone like, what's going on here? And then I was in the, I was in the dining room just shaking like a, like a leaf. It was like, I could barely control. Go away! Yeah, I could barely control my fingers to text people and I was just shaking like mad and I had no idea why. Because when it happens to you, you're like, you try and find reasons why it's happening and you can't find reasons. And then I started flashing back to how I used to always have panic attacks like every other day. No, literally like three a day, panic attacks. And I was like, oh no, this is horrible. I was making it worse and I was making it worse. And then Lovely came, she calmed me down, just like held me. And I was like, <sighs> no. but um, yeah, I'm fine now. So that's great. And then we literally set out a do's and left very shortly after that. And then on the walk home, me and Lovely just having a massive heart to heart about how relationships work and so, well, I can't really say now because now people like Robert watch. <laughs> so I can't entirely be completely truthful about what's happening. If you are watching, do us a favor and just write a little comment, please. Please. So yeah, we walked home and we had a massive heart to heart about friends and how some of them aren't really worth it and stuff and stuff and stuff. I can't really go into details, but um, I basically walked the entire way and Lovely's just ranting at me about things and she's wearing my coat to keep her warm. I'm just like, okay, oh, yeah, I know. Calm down. It's okay. Lovely, don't worry about it. You've got me. You've always got me. Yeah, if anything else fails, I'm here. Hi. Hi. So yeah, then I, well, I dropped her off home. Um, continued to talking about things like that to a certain extent and then I didn't want to say goodbye to her because I really missed her and it's always worse whenever you see the person for however long I haven't seen you in ages and then suddenly hi how's it going oh I've got to go home now oh I really miss you yeah and then so yeah we say goodbye what am I talking about don't even know lol I've only had two glasses of small box two small glasses of wine and I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore so yeah literally Back to present day, walking home, get followed by a cat. I think I've abandoned it now. I think it's gone. <sighs> Thank God for that, because if it got home and Sid got it, it'd be the end of that cat. Okay, so what's going down tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm going to have a lion because it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm going to go inside, make myself a cup of tea, watch TV for half an hour, watch Big Bang Theory for half an hour. It's my ritual whenever I go to a party. Yeah, I'm going to get inside, drink tea. And then I'm going to wake up in the morning at around 10 o'clock. I'm not going to set my alarm, so I'm going to wake up when I set wake up. Although I assume that I'm going to have weird, crazy dreams that make me wake up. Because I've been with Lovely and I've drunk alcohol. It's usually enough, really. And then there's also the threat that some people know about my vlogs or my vlogs. 
if I'm a noob and I don't know what a vlog is. Um, so there's also the stress of that that might keep me awake. Um, lovely thinks I'm at home right now. Shh, don't tell her. <laughs> um, yes, there's that and that and that. Tomorrow I'm gonna go down shopping to go and set myself up a bank account, a student bank account because it's closed today. Bloody bank holiday. Who would have thought the banks would have closed, right? And then I'm gonna do my physics. I'm gonna finish my physics or attempt to physics it, finish it. And then I've got uh, work at six o'clock. And then Sunday is going to be working again, physics-y. Not going to be very exciting, really, apart from my trip down to shopping. Mm, sorry about that. Well, anyway, this, this has been an interesting day, hasn't it? Hope that'll do for you. I'll um, catch you later, hopefully.